said to be invented by the Greek mechanics of Alexandria in the 3rd century BC, gears have been a great source for providing power to mechanical systems. But do you know how they work? In this episode of Radwell's How It Works series, we're going to explore how gears operate. For starters, let's review the main component of a gear to gain a better understanding of how they operate. Regardless of the type, gears will have one distinct component. Around the outside of their circular shaped base, teeth are cut out and equally spaced apart from one another. Now that we reviewed the basic component of a gear, let's talk about how gears work. Typically, a gear will be installed in a machine's housing and mounted or connected to other parts by a shaft or base. Depending upon the machine and how much power is needed, the number of gears used will be made. With that decided, the gears will all be meshed together via their teeth components. Power is applied to one gear, and that will cause a domino effect. One after the other, the gears meshed together will all begin to turn. Depending upon the gear's movement, if one turns clockwise, the other will turn in a counterclockwise motion. This motion and turning by the gears will provide the motion and power the mechanical system needs. Gears operate in a basic way. However, they are useful for providing motion and power to mechanical devices, along with reducing speed and changing directions of rotating shafts. If you like this information on gears, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more information on industrial products and processes. For information about Radwell, visit us on the web at radwell.com or connect with us on social media. Thanks for watching.